Okay, so looking at the figures back in October, what do you think pulled down the pace of export growth? Well, it's a, just a small dip. But if you consider that uh, since uh, April of 2020, our export was down 50%. But ever since the last eight months, we have consecutive growth on exports, and now we're up by 18%. Uh, so we're looking, the, the, uh, the uh, slight blip is due to the uh, problem we have with the logistic, with the uh, congestion, uh, with the lack of uh, cargo space uh, in, in, the, in the shipping uh, sector. Uh, we, uh, I think uh, this will be with us for the better part of even next year. So hope that this will not dampen too much our uh, export export uh, revenue. But overall, uh, the export sector is very resilient. Uh, we we are thankful that the government uh, took note that export is uh, considered as an essential sector. And ever since the quarantine, uh, uh, of course, following all the hy hy hygiene protocol, uh, many of the exporters were allowed to operate. Uh, it's a question of the market now. Uh, has, is picking up uh, in the uh, North America. Their uh, their economy seems to be uh, gaining some strength, and um, we look forward to a better year for 2020, 2022. Okay, earlier you mentioned about logistical issues, especially in ports. You expect that to still be the case in the near term, at least. Does this mean we are expecting still sluggish growth from the sector? For the remainder of the year, meaning November and December. Uh, well, for the remainder of the year, I mean there are uh, exporting uh, uh, export goods in the pipeline. Uh, mm -hmm. So we would we would see that uh, November and December numbers should go up a bit. Uh, for the whole year of 2022, uh, there's a conservative projection of increase in export by about 15 percent. Uh, of course, this really depends on the uh, on the uh, recent development of the new variant mm -hmm. of the uh, Omicron. Uh, but uh, so far, uh, from the uh, reports of uh, where the variant originate from South Africa, they're saying that the spread is uh, trans transmissibility is fast, but the severity of this uh, new variant. Uh, is is mild, so we hope that uh, those statements can hold and uh, and uh, will not uh, affect too much the uh, economy. But given that, still, should the Omicron variant, in a worst case scenario, at least lead to further border controls, how's how's that going to affect the sector's growth, especially into 2022? Like you mentioned, you are you have at least an estimate of 15 percent growth for next year. Yes. Uh, I would like to think that most of the countries uh, now having experience of almost a year and a half in dealing with uh, the COVID pandemic has uh, learned to put all the uh, safety nets in living with COVID-19. We know that this pandemic is not going to go, it's not going to go away uh, in a year or two, but we have to be flexible and resilient uh, to be to continue our economy in a new normal. And I think that applies all over the world. Uh, and uh, the fact that uh, we still have logistic issues, not only in the shipping, but also a lot in the components, especially in the electronic sector. Our electronic sector uh, generates about 55% uh, of our exports. Uh, so they have been, uh, uh, their numbers have not been going up as they projected. Uh, but uh, I, I would like to think that uh, the supply chain is gradually improving uh, mm -hmm. towards uh, 2022. Okay. Now, Sir George, we're about to wrap up the year. What level of growth are you expecting to get this year? Well, as I said, uh, we had uh, eight consecutive growth, uh, continuous growth for uh, the last eight months. And uh, the projection from DTI is the export will still be down by 20% of the projections that was done for the year. Mm -hmm. uh, but in a way, the positive uh, view is that uh, the uh, market, uh, our export market uh, in North America and also China, uh, our, our, our exports uh, for October 
the biggest market is China, okay. uh, which garnered about almost 16 percent. So we are hope uh, China has been, uh, of course, uh, lately the news about also their concern about the uh, spread of uh, the new variant. But so far, it's still so good. The agri sectors, the fruits uh, sectors, uh, we've been uh, getting. Uh, well, of course, China, China, the the market in China has been growing, okay? mm -hmm. and uh, you'd be surprised that the uh, uh, sectors such as leather goods, uh, you know, handbags for ladies. Uh, the, there are uh, there's a plant in uh, in uh, Angeles that has been growing for the last two years even under this uh, pandemic situation. So the market is there, and we have to ramp up our uh, production uh, capacity.